Oh, hey folks, how you doing? It's Paul. Uh, I have just uh, slumbered a bit, and I feel a little bit better, but boy, I'll tell you, being out in Florida sun ain't easy. All right. Anyways, uh, how you folks doing? Um, I, I have friends in different places. We're very cosmopolitan on this show, and uh, what we have is... Um, one of my subscribers, and I, I think I subscribed to him. If not, I've got to subscribe. Um, he's my subscriber from Russia, and um, he's got news for us this morning. Uh, I was surprised to see it. So let's look at this and see what is going on. I th yeah, okay, he's got a whole line full of news. So you'll be treated to news coming straight from uh, the Russian sources, Okay. So let's see what they have to say. And this is a whole bunch. So this is really nice. Okay, this is from the 26th of June. It says, um, and, and I can't pronounce his name, but it says uh, some news on the 26th of June. Here we go. On June 25th, the cities of Severodonetsk and Bor Borov, some, some yoke, and the settlements of, you know what, this is like, um, you know, uh, Mississippi. This is like them trying to get to say Mississippi and Topeka and stuff like that, Kansas, right? I mean, this is really hard for Americans. I think it'd be hard for anybody, but the, for those people to say it, right? Um, Vor, Vornarova, uh, Sirotino came under the control of the Luhansk People's Republic, which I think is the uh, region of Ukraine, which was was being oppressed by the Ukrainian people. And uh, these were the, these were provinces of Ukraine that really didn't want to go into Ukrainian leadership. And uh, as a result, I know they came under a lot of fire. I think that's a safe way to surmise that. Okay, so they to make a long story short. They sided with Russia. They're, they're Russian speaking, from what I understand, or speak Russian. And I guess the Ukrainians didn't like it. Okay, all right. It says uh, about 108,000 people live in the cities liberated from the Kiev, as you mind the city, it's like to say, Kiev regime. The total area of the liberated territory is around 145 square kilometers, which isn't really all that huge, not in the scheme of things. Um, the successes of the Russian army, the People's Militia of the Donetsk and the Lugansk People's Republic significantly reduce the morale and psychological state of the personnel of the Ukrainian army. So in the 30th mechanized, mechanized brigade deployed near Artemovsk, there are mass cases of drunkenness, drug use, and unauthorized abandonment of combat positions. I would assume that's the Russian positions. I'm sorry, the Ukrainian positions. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue to strike military targets on the territory of Ukraine. High-precision weapons of the Russian aerospace forces and caliber missiles delivered a massive blow to the territory of the 169th Training Center of the ground forces in the area of the settlement of Desna of the Chernihiv region, the 199th training center of the airborne assault troops in the Tetrarvenka area of Zatmor Mir region, as well as the 184th training center of the armed forces of Ukraine in the Starichi area of the Lviv region. As a result of the strike, the 65th and the 66th motorized infantry brigades, brigades and the 46th air mobile brigade from the strategic reserves of the 
armed forces of Ukraine who completed training at these ranges completely lost their combat capability. Thus, the planned transfer of these formations to the combat zone has been disrupted. Operational, tactical, and army aviation missile troops and artillery hit. Manpower and military equipment in 286 districts, artillery and mortar units in 62 districts, two control points in the districts of Vysunsk and Barmashovo of the Mykolaiv region, four ammunition depots in the areas of the settlements of Verka Menka, uh, Lizichanks, and the western outskirts of Lizichanks, Lugansk People Republic. What this sounds like to me, folks, is that the Russians, instead of bringing people in and letting them waltz over the border, uh, hundreds of thousands and millions every year they've been taking their money and they've been buying weapons that's what they've been doing they have not been uh, letting people come over their borders and then spending the entire wealth of our nation supporting a bunch of brain dead retards that's what it sounds like to me so when you do that you don't run out of ammunition that's what it sounds like what's happening to me and then it goes on here, as part of the counter-battery struggle, 10 platoons of multiple launch rocket systems in the districts of these three places, Ukrainsk, Ivanovka, Avadika, Novoloska, Pavaya, and then some other ones of the Donsk People's Republic were hit by precision weapons of the Russian aerospace forces in the Donsk region, Donetsk re, uh, direction, as a result of the airstrikes, missile troops and artillery destroyed more than 720 nationalists, 12 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles, 16 special vehicles. The enemy once again made an unsuccessful attempt to strike with aircraft and multiple rocket launchers on the island of Zemini. As a result of repelling the attack by the anti-aircraft missile and cannon complex Panzer Panzer S, a Su-25 aircraft of the Ukrainian Armed Forces and 12 rockets were shot down. There are no casualties among the garrison personnel and no destruction. Russian air defense means destroyed eight Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles in the area of the settlements of Vavaroka, Ray Alexandri Alexandrikov, and the Luhansk People Republic, the Kherson region, Malaya, and small passages of the Kharkiv region, also 19 multiple rocket launchers, were shot down in the areas of the settlement of uh, these areas, uh, Kharkiv region um, of, of the Donsk People's Republic and over the island of Zemini. Zemini. Um, in an air battle, a MiG-29 aircraft of the Ukrainian Air Force was shot down near the village of Zelend uh, Zelendoklosk. Dinobrofitz region. In total, since the beginning of the special military operation, 215 aircraft, 132 helicopters, 1,363 unmanned aerial vehicles, 350 anti-aircraft missile systems, 3,809 tanks and other armored, armored combat vehicles, 682 multiple rocket launch combat vehicles, uh, 3,012 field artillery guns and mortars, as well as 3,864 units of special military vehicles have been destroyed. So there you have it from somebody, that's what's coming out um, in Russia for uh, 
for um, for the uh, Russian people to consume. Now, what do I think? I think it's probably pretty close to accurate because, if not completely accurate, because once you catch your media lying to you, then you know it's a big game. You know it's a big game. And you know, just like I told um, my friend there, MJ, you are you're able to get the keys to the kingdom by simply not believing anything on the news and believing the opposite. That's the essentially the keys to the kingdom, which I gave to my friend MJ, which she doesn't appreciate. But um, that's what it sounds like to me. So uh, I think if you look at the ABC News or it, whatever, you're going to hear something quite different. But I think uh, Russia's probably uh, kicking ass and taking numbers. And that's probably about the size of it. So I'm sorry for the, the butchering of all those names, but... Um, I mean, as far as like uh, towns like Severodonsk, I can I can read, but some of these other ones are really hard. You know, it's like asking them to say Mississippi, you know, or Topeka or something like that. You know, so um, anyways, take care, folks, and that's your update um, for the Russians. And I certainly want to thank my subscriber there. His name is Dennis from the Moscow region for giving us that update, which I appreciate, okay? It sounds like uh, any day the, the Ukrainian forces are going to come under complete encirclement and um, it's going to be bye-bye city, okay? The next thing we're going to be know is that the Ukrainian troops are going to be fighting with the Russian soldiers uh, against their own people. That wouldn't surprise me next. Anyways, folks, take care. I hope you have a good day. I have finally gotten my second wind because I was pretty wiped out this morning. Take care. Bye-bye.